Integrator Basic Training Chapter 4 Jupyter Platform Software, Graphic User Interface, and Operation. In this chapter, we'll cover downloading, installing, and opening the Jupyter Control Software, recognizing the various types of apps that are available and begin to choose between them for specific project types that utilize a Jupyter DSP, navigating and using the software's file menu system, the different sections of the software user interface. This training is an overview of the Jupyter software and its multiple app-based configurations. Each app has its own graphic user interface and provides control of the included processing components, including dynamics, feedback elimination, ambient noise sensing, EQ, loudspeaker management, and more. While the Jupyter DSPs and the Zone Mix 761 may overlap in their use cases, it's important to understand that there are basic differences between the two platforms. The optimal choice for your project will depend on the complexity of the site, the desired functionality, technical resources, and other factors. If needed, Symmetrics field application engineers and sales representatives are always available to assist in the selection of the ideal product for any project. Jupyter Control Software is installed on and operated from a Windows PC environment. The Jupyter software is downloadable from the Symmetrics.co website on the Jupyter product page. Once installed, the Jupyter software is found under Symmetrics in your computer program list. When opening, the software gives you the choice to create a new Jupyter project file, use an existing file stored on your computer, or pull an existing file currently loaded on a connected device. When selecting a new app file, the software provides a choice of multiple apps, each with its own unique signal chain and GUI. These apps have been developed by the experts at Symmetrics to provide a starting point for a variety of project types. It's important to note that the available apps are dependent on Jupyter models. The drop-down list allows you to choose the preferred I.O. configuration and the options will update to match that of the device. Regardless of method, once opened, the software allows access to the menus, quick action buttons, and GUI. We'll first review features that are common to any of the Jupyter apps you may select. Later in this chapter, we will review a number of the available templates, comment on their specific characteristics, and discuss best practices. The Jupyter Control software has three top-tier menus, File, Tools, and Help. The File menu contains the File Management commands, Recently Opened Files, and the Exit command. New creates a blank project and Open launches a previously saved project on your computer. You may also choose from a short list of recently opened projects. Save or Save As prompts for a name and location for storage of the currently opened file. Once saved, selecting Save once more will do so without prompts. This will also save to a device automatically when it's connected. Save As prompts every time. Exit immediately closes software without prompt. The new Open and Save commands are also available as clickable icons immediately below the top-level menus. The Tools menu contains a number of important functions. Connection Wizard launches the application for connecting to the Jupyter DSP and going online. External Controller Wizard allows management and editing of ARC remotes, GPIO, and ArcWeb. More on these later. Store Preset does exactly that. Presets can be either global or individual parameter-based. Recall Preset triggers a previously stored preset. Manage Presets allows naming, copying, and deleting of presets. Event Scheduler launches the dialog to schedule presets for time of day recall. Power on defaults allows the unit to power up to the last known state or with a specific preset. Security settings configures parameters such as password protection. Upgrade firmware upgrades the device's firmware and mute all outputs immediately mutes all audio from the device's outputs. As mentioned in previous chapters, never upgrade firmware over a wide area network. Should the connection be lost, significant damage may result and require servicing by professional Symmetrics technicians. Connection Wizard, External Control Wizard, and Mute Outputs are also available as clickable icons immediately below the top-level menus. Contents launches the Jupyter Help module with extensive information on the setup and operation of the system. About displays software and firmware versions as well as copyright information. Help files are also available as a clickable icon immediately below the top-level menus.